Welcome back to Shadow Man Remastered, and welcome back to New York, as we've now returned to Avery's level, since Mike has now become Shadow Man during the day. He's now the Lord of Deadside in Liveside, so we can finally climb up that bloodfall that was blocking us before. And since we were here before and turned the power on, we can use this elevator to quickly get back to where we left off. <laughs> Mike, of course, is much more intimidating now. He is not wearing a shirt, indicating that he is Shadow Man. Shadow Men do not wear shirts, probably. Maybe other Shadow Men wore shirts. Mike does not. I mean, if you were seeing him from the front, he probably would be recognizable as Shadow Man from his glowing eyes. As we've been getting more and more Dark Souls, you might have noticed that his... Uh, more and more blue fire has been coming out of his eyes, forming the shape of the Mask of Shadows. So technically, he is wearing the mask on his face once we get a high enough level. It slowly gets there. Here we go. This is where we left off. Now we can climb on up. Now we're in new territory. Very claustrophobic in here. Very, uh, some tight corridors with writing all over them. I guess this is where Avery likes to do his scribbles. And we can hear him. There's gotta be some way the hell out of here. It, it does look a little confusing, but really there's only one way to go. Oh, here, here he is. But he's just going to vanish. Well, he won't be able to vanish once we actually reach the heart of his lair. We reach his own personal attic, which is up ahead. And when we fight Avery, he will be using nail guns. But of course, we have plenty of guns and voodoo weapons ourselves. No! Mike is very distraught from what he has seen which is a skinned head, maybe? Not sure what that is. Got it. A lot of birds being kept up here. Please, no. Two more living victims of Avery, then one dead one. We'll just, uh, we'll just leave them be. Pretty sure this one's dead. Pretty sure. You can hear Avery's voice once again. Maybe this is his bedroom. Maybe this is where he sleeps. You really can't sleep without the smell of blood everywhere. What would we find on Avery's bookshelf? I don't know. I don't know if Avery's much of a reader. Uh, there's his attic up ahead, so the fight's gonna happen. Let's, uh, let's equip a weapon and get to it. There he is. <laughs> Rest in peace, Geek. So Avery ended up not being much of a challenge. Well, I mean, considering how high Shadow Man's level is and all the weapons he has, a couple nail guns are just not going to do it. This should be useful. So we found a new item, a prism. This was mentioned in Jack's journal. It's the key to the soul gates. We have not seen a soul gate yet, but we will. The dark souls are mine. And with that, we've gotten the one, only one, dark soul in this level. Avery's dark soul. Got it. But we haven't found his soul gate. It was mentioned in the journal that the reason that the five are here, their job, is to build the soul gates 
in live side, so the true form soldiers could pass from dead side to live side through those gates. We've not seen one yet, but we do have its key. And we found it here. Suddenly the building turns into stone. Look, it looks like we're in a cave of some kind. But uh, you might notice that the soul gate, it does kind of look like the coffin gates from Dead Side. Just maybe a bit more modern. But we can't use our dark soul level to open them. We need to use these prisms. And inside we find the gate. Well, it's meant for the true forms to come to live side. But we can pass through it to get to dead side. Let's see where we come out. And we find ourselves in the engine block. Now the engine block, we were here before, but there are plenty of dark souls that we have not found. The soul gate takes us out into a different part of the engine block that we were not able to get to before. That lever opens up a door over there. Now, the whole thing that we were trying to do in the engine block last time we were here is uh, Mike saw Luke. And Luke was on the other side of the engine. He seemed to be in trouble. But in order to reach Luke, we were going to have to shut down the pistons in the dark engine as they were stopping us from getting to the other side. We were only able to shut down one piston. The other control rooms were not accessible to us. But we're going to just wander around this part of the engine block and see what we find. And what we find right here is a, it's a rope. Just got to be careful. Get over here, jump up. There we go. hear the yell of a true form. They have a pretty distinctive yell. Yeah, there's one right here in a cage. Here's a keyhole. You can probably guess what it'll open. Not that cage, but another one. Yes, the dark souls are mine. So that guy did do some damage. If you get real close to the true formers, they can do a good good deal of damage in a fast amount of time. I think if we back off, yeah, if we back off enough, that guy's cage just opens up. Let's see if we can uh, get anything before we fight him. There we go. Yes. 
So now we're starting to find the Dark Souls in the engine block. We got two. 13 more to go somewhere around. But of course, we will not be able to access the entire engine block from here. This is only the part that we were able to get to by defeating Avery. And that's really the main purpose of defeating the five, is to get to the different parts of the engine block. I think this place was drawn in Jack's journal. You have an endless corridor filled with cages that would house the true forms. I mean, there wouldn't be an endless number of true forms. The journal said there would only be 120, since that's how many Dark Souls there are. But uh, if that's the case, I wonder if I wonder if that would mean that the five would have to die in that process, since they have Dark Souls themselves. Would they have to give up their Dark Souls for the true forms? If there's going to be 120 true forms. Well, maybe they're just happy to be part of the cause. And here, we find a control room. Control room number four. Let's put on our key and look in the journal. Control room number four has the password 312. This one's already three. One. And two. And that shuts down this piston. So two pistons out of six now shut down. And so you can probably get the idea of what it is we're doing by fighting the five. We have to fight the five, kill them, get their prisms, open their soul gates, which will take us to the engine block which will eventually, as we go down their paths, reach the pistons and allow us to shut them down. And once they're all shut down, then Mike can then cross the engine block to the other side where Luke was calling for help. So that's kind of the overarching uh, goal at this point in the game. I mean, sure, we're still collecting Dark Souls, but the main thing is to kill the five so we can eventually cross the engine block. And speaking of killing the five... We could also go to Down Street Station in London. Because we did go through there, but we reached a dead end because Mike could not hold his breath underwater for long. But Shadow Man can. So, I mentioned last time... Watch it, mind the dogs. Oh, also the dogs now have... Now that the shadow has fallen, these dogs are now become like demon dogs. They've shown their true forms, I guess. But we're not going to go that way. Uh, you might remember the first time we were here. I mentioned that you don't actually have to play this level at all. Because there's a shortcut that lets you skip the whole thing. We couldn't do it as Mike, because, you know, water. But we can do it as Shadow Man. So we've done the long way, now let's try the short way. And to do the short way, we need to get back into these sewers. Right, so Mike could not hold his breath long enough to go under here. But we can take our time. Take our time and go down all the way to the bottom and get these Kado. Right, shortcut is through here. Mind the spinning blades. Though actually we do want to swim behind the blade because more Kado. Oh, 
All right, so now we've skipped the entire level by doing that. Again, not sure why the shortcut's there. Or why you would go through the level the long way. I mean, I guess the reason to go through the level the long way is to get the accumulator. We did get that, but it doesn't seem like there's another reason. Here are these spinning blades that Mike stopped earlier on. But uh, let's swim behind them because there are more Kado. We almost do have another 100. So almost time to get another health power up. Right, this is where Mike could not advance. Had to stay underwater for just too long. Well, even if Mike was able to advance, you're not a you wouldn't be able to defeat the five before you become Shadow Man, because the final hit to the five has to be from the Shadow Gun. And we've reached 100 Kado. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. But when you fight one of the five, you'll, you can use other weapons to do damage and eventually stun them. When they're in a stunned state, the final hit has to be from the Shadow Gun. Nothing else will kill them. It's actually the same thing with the True Forms. The True Forms have to be hit with the Shadow Gun. No other weapon will do it. So but by doing that, they ensure that you can't actually kill any of these guys unless you're Shadow Man. But hey, guess what? We're here. Let's go talk to Jack. You shouldn't have come here, Michael Lua. My coming here was unavoidable. It is prophecy. My destiny. Your destiny is to die. That is the fate of all mortal men. But I am no longer mortal. I cannot die. Ha! Dying is easy. I have achieved that end more than once in my existence. And now I have returned as a bloody messiah. An avatar resurrected. A divine servant for my master's great plan. If dying is easy, then you won't mind if I blow you away, you pathetic little man. You may try to achieve that end, Michael Loire, but I warn you, you shall not find it a simple task at all. For we are many. All right, Jack's crawling. He's crawling up there. Hell, Michael, hell. Now, the first... Originally, when I played this game, I thought Jack was the hardest of the five. Now, however... Not so bad. The main difference is that in the remaster, you can look up, which you couldn't do in the original game. So when he was crawling around on the ceiling, you wouldn't be able to see him if he was above you. But now it's kind of trivial. This should be useful. And we got his prism. The Dark Souls are mine. And the one Dark Soul in this level, which gives us uh, 59 at this point. There's actually a pretty large area here for you to fight Jack in. It's like it's not just this one room. Got it. Like, we could take a look around. There's a bunch of rooms with, like, walls and columns and such. So I guess the idea is that you would be playing a game of cat and mouse with him, running around these rooms, hiding behind walls and such, watching, trying to see for when he would be uh, crawling towards you, trying to get the drop on you. At least that's how I remember the fight going. None of that's actually necessary now. Here we are back in the in the in the first room. Let's go back to that door we saw. 
So yeah, pretty large area to run around in to try to bait Jack um, and have your, your little fight with him. But it's very short now. It's very fast. Just look up, shoot at him on the ceiling, hop backwards when he tries to stab you when he drops down, and uh, that's kind of all there is. So that's it for Jack the Ripper. Oh, yeah. Let's open this. I don't know. I question the wisdom of building the soul gate down here. The true forms would have a tough time working their way up to the surface. Some tight passages they would have to get through. Well, anyway, we're here in another part of the engine block. Actually, we should... This is a better weapon for this. These tight corridors, you can't really use the Marteau. There are a number of locked doors in the engine block. If I remember right, in the original version of the game, you could unlock these doors to, like, um, to connect all of the different areas of the engine block. So it would all, it would all become one big area. I'm not, I'm actually not sure if I've seen a way to unlock these doors in the remaster. At least I don't think I've seen a way to do that. And like these big doors here, pretty sure you could open those as well. But I don't know if I just missed something. Let's get at our key. right here. That one unlocks this door, which goes back into the area that we were just in. No need to go there. And since we can now walk on coals, no need to do this little obstacle course to the next of us. We can just run on the coals, it's fine. see a true form down there in his cage before we go down there let's look around up here
And with that, I believe, yes, we have 60 Dark Souls. That's half the total in the game. 120 in total. We now have gotten half of them. Guy's having a little trouble getting out of his cage. I just can't seem to do it. Yes, the dark souls are mine. Well, my, the true forms are supposed to be fearsome, but Mike's level is so high now, and he has so many of these voodoo weapons, that uh, it's really not that much of a problem. But of course, it's only no problem for, for Mike, a shadow man, the Lord of Deadside. As Nettie said, the Dark Souls uh, make one immortal. So fighting the true forms with conventional means would not be possible. You wouldn't actually be able to kill them. The only way to actually kill them is to get their soul, which Mike is capable of doing. taking shots at us from above. Okay, and here we are at control room number two. Well, you know the drill. You know what we need to do here. Get out our key. Take a look in the book. And it says control room number two is one, two, four. One. Who? Four. And that 
shuts down another one of the pistons. So that's half the pistons done. Three down, three to go. And this part of the engine block is now done. We've gotten all the Dark Souls we can from here. There are ten more Dark Souls to go in the, inten in the engine block in its entirety. Uh, but we are done with Jack's corner of the engine block. So Avery and Jack, now both totally done. Um, and speaking of the rest of the engine block and the other killers, we have three more killers to go. And I think that means next time we're going to be taking a look at one of the new levels added for the remaster. Because of the remaining three killers, in the original game, they all shared the same level. Uh, but in the remaster, two new levels were made so each of the killers could have their own level. So... Next time, I think we're going to be taking a trip to Florida to visit Milton, who uh, Deacon's file refers to as the video nasty killer. That's probably who we'll be doing next. So we'll be having a look at one of the new levels made. But before we do that, let's uh, use the bear to get back to the Temple of Life because we do have another 100 Kado. Which means we should get another notch on our health meter. Right here. These gifts I give to thee, O gracious Loa, O generous Loa, a spiritual trade for life beyond. Ah, the life force burns so strong within me. Mike is psyched about increases, increasing his HP. So only two more altars to go, 200 more Kado needed in order to max out our, our health meter. Um, and three more serial killers to go before we've killed all of the five. So next time, we're going to be going to Florida to the summer camp to take a look at one of the new levels added to the remaster as we continue on in Shadow Man Remastered. <laughs>